I'm Rob from Smart Boat Innovations. In this short video, I will share with you how I transform my boat into a smart boat for just $350. That $350 includes the computer, the router, and here are just some of the sensors that was included in $350. It's quite amazing what I've been able to achieve on such a small budget. So let's get started. To begin, let's clarify what a smart boat is. A smart boat refers to a vessel that can be controlled and monitored on board and remotely from land. Today, I will demonstrate how I accomplish this transformation and how you can do it too. One of the great things about converting my boat to a smart boat is that it doesn't require extensive technical knowledge. I chose the easiest route to create my smart boat, ensuring that anyone can follow suit and enjoy the benefits. Now let's take a look at one of the fundamental aspects of a smart boat, virtual switches. These switches allow you to control various devices on board through a digital interface. The best part is you can retain your manual switches alongside the virtual ones for added convenience. So let's have a look at the virtual switches I've set up on my boat. So here on my tablet, it could be on your phone as well, I've set up six virtual switches. Now the beauty of these virtual switches is once you've had them set up, you can then use automations to, to add intelligence to them so they can do, do tasks automatically. So on the top I have one, an anchor light, which turns the anchor light on top of the mast on. Now on, with this I've added automation so it turns on the anchor light at sunset and turns it off at sunrise. But to add an extra bit of intelligence I've added a condition so if the boat is moving, we're sailing, don't turn the anchor light on. I have one for the, the deck light, which illuminates the, the whole deck. Now this is really useful when you're returning back to your boat from the dinghy and it's late at night and you can turn this on from the dinghy so when you arrive it's light. Now you can get really sophisticated with these, uh, these virtual switches. For example, the deck light, you can have the smart boat automatically sense that it's night and you are returning to the boat and it will automatically turn on the lights for you. I have a mast horn which is on top of the mast. This is really useful to scare off intruders or birds or just to alert other boaters near my boat. I have a switch for the bilge pump. Now the bilge pump is normally started or activated by a float switch. Um, but say I'm on land and I receive a notification from my boat that there's water and bilge, I can start the bilge pump from land. Maybe the float switch hasn't worked. I have an indoor siren. This is useful to notify people on board of a condition that needs attention. And this, this siren has like nine different melodies and, it, and the volume is all adjustable by the, the smart boat app. And finally, I have a watermaker virtual switch. I have this turned on 9 a.m. every day to do a routine maintenance flush. Have you ever experienced guests struggling to find the bathroom lights on your boat? By incorporating automatic bathroom lights, you can have them turn on automatically when someone enters at night, saving your guests from fumbling around in the dark. For me, safety is paramount in smart boating. I've taken additional measures to protect my boat by installing wireless water leak sensors in critical areas such as the bilge, near sea cocks, and water pumps. Even while on board, it's advantageous to be aware of water in the bilge before you can see it above the floorboards. This early warning can provide valuable time to locate and address the source of a leak as it becomes more challenging once it's above the floorboards. Additionally, I've installed a temperature sensor in my lithium battery box. While lithium phosphate batteries are known for their high safety standards, it is reassuring to be able to monitor their temperature and receive alerts if they exceed the normal range. Furthermore, I have incorporated a wireless fire alarm sensor. This is it here. This additional safety measure ensures early detection of potential fire hazards. I've set up an anchor alarm which doesn't require a separate app. It can sound a siren or send my phone a notification wherever I am. This, additionally, the same system acts as a boat tracker, 
allowing me to locate my boat if it were taken without my permission. With this system, I can monitor all my boat's instruments from my phone or tablet, whether I'm on my way from the boat or on board. This feature has proven incredibly useful. I can set up customized alerts and alarms such as depth and wind speed alarms, and even monitor changes in the wind direction. When I'm sailing, I can set up alert based on as many of the boat's instruments as I like. For example, if my boat is steering to an angle to the wind, I can set an alert to make sure the boat stays within the range of compass headings. Or if I'm steering to a compass heading, I can be alerted if the wind changes direction, or if the wind is higher or lower than a preset wind speed. You can get really sophisticated and set up an alert when it's time to reef the sails with different wind speed limits depending on whether you're close hauled or on a broad reach. We can put in our normal criteria for reefing sails and it will remind us. Also, you can specify how long the wind speed has been exceeded to filter out infrequent gusts. I've sailed more than 80,000 miles around the world and I find these instrument based alerts extremely useful. Only yesterday I sailed from Morocco to Spain solo and these alerts helped me a lot. My physical instruments also provide warnings, but they're not nearly as sophisticated as with a smart boat. They usually just emit, emit a little beep beep sound. With a smart boat, I can activate a siren with a choice of different tunes and volumes depending on the alert. And with text to speech, I can even have it talk to me via speakers. Warning! Wind speed limit reached. A really useful aspect of smart boating is engine monitoring. I've set up an oil pressure sensor and four temperature sensors around the boat to monitor the coolant temperature, temperature near the thermostat, the raw water elbow temperature, and the alternator temperature. This allows me to receive early warnings well before the engine reaches a critical state. For example, the temperature at the raw water elbow for my boat is normally between 38 degrees and 40 degrees Celsius. I've set an alert if it rises to 42 degrees Celsius. This would indicate an abnormal situation, such a, as a worn impeller or no water flow at all. The alternator temperature sensor is particularly useful now that we are starting to use lithium batteries and their ability to work our alternator harder. Furthermore, you have the ability to review historical data on engine temperature and oil pressure trends. This feature allows you to track and analyze how these parameters feature over time, providing valuable insights into the performance and health of your boat's engine. Finally, let's talk about the cost of converting your boat into a smart boat. I put together a spreadsheet detailing the expenses I incurred during the transformation process. As you can see, it's surprisingly affordable with a total cost of around $350. This investment will establish the foundation for a smart boat. Any future additions will leverage this existing framework and will require only additional sensors, adapters, or cables. I have numerous additions in mind for enhancing my smart boat. These, in, these encompass video surveillance cameras, an intruder security system, and comprehensive monitoring and management of energy components such as batteries, wind generators, and solar panels. My aim with this channel is to document my smart boat transformation journey with easy to follow videos on every aspect. You don't need to be a tech whiz to achieve this. I've designed the content specifically for those with no technical background so that everyone can benefit from it. Thank you for joining me today and exploring the incredible world of smart boating. If you found this video helpful and informative, I would appreciate if you hit the like button below. And if you'd like to stay updated with more exciting content on boating and technology, consider subscribing to my channel by clicking the subscribe button. Your support means a lot and helps me create more valuable videos like this. Until next time, hasta luego.